Mobile devices are becoming a popular client device for business users. Tablets are a great way to distribute information since they provide a form factor that can be used anywhere, but is still large enough to present all the information users want to see on one screen. Let's take a look at this Retail Performance Dashboard application. This application has what I think are the key elements of a great BI app. First, quick access to key metrics in a tiled interface. Second, visuals that show historical trends for these metrics. Third, a way to visualize metrics in a tangible way, such as superimposed on a map. Next, interactivity, such as filters to slice data and visualizations that stay synchronized with each other as the user interacts with them. And finally, the ability to analyze large volumes of information easily. The data under this dashboard, for example, comes from a 26 gigabyte SQL Server database. So how can I use this application? Well, on this app, I can look at the key metrics for my entire store chain. Each of the KPIs on the list shows a metric's current value, its status, and its trend. By displaying the visual indicators, it's easy to tell where my stores are doing well and where they're not doing as well. The line chart on the bottom shows the two-year trend for whatever metric I select. The map on the right shows how each of my regions are doing. If I click on any metric, these visualizations are updated with my choice. For example, if I choose average selling price or gross margin. At the top of the screen, I have buttons I can use to select just a slice of the data. Right now I'm looking at just my Vandalay Industries brand, um, but I can change that to say Benford Tools and see that this brand isn't doing as well, but actually it's doing better in two regions than the other two. Maps are a natural surface to visualize information on. On this US map, the app has drawn a perimeter around the stores in each region. By adding color and labels to these shapes, I can see at a glance where I'm doing better, where I'm doing worse across the US. If I want to see a specific geography in more detail, I can use a slicer to look at only that region. So let me switch to Tennessee. Now I can see the location of each store in Tennessee on the map, and the pin color indicates whether that store's performance for the metric I choose is acceptable or not. And again, here I can choose different metrics. And all of the other visualizations are updated. Of course, I can zoom in on this map. And I can see that in Memphis, I have one specific store that's underperform underperforming the rest. And if I wanted to see exactly where that store was, I could just keep on zooming in. If I want to move to a different state, I can just pick it from the list. States aren't the only way we look at geography. We might instead look at a single market, like the Chicago metro area. Or maybe we'd like to look at Detroit. Note that I'm not just zooming the map around to different areas. Every selection I make updates the list of key performance indicators and the historical trend chart. The combination of visualizations gives me a rich analytical experience that easily surpasses a set of standard reports delivered by email. We've seen some key elements that make a great mobile BI application. First, highly responsive. Mobile users are accustomed to sub-second response time, and we need to be sensitive to that. Next, highly interactive. As mobile users, we expect applications that are interactive and intuitive to use. We want to explore and tap the screen to get more in detail. Next, graphically rich. We're not just providing a mobile way to read tables of numbers. We're using all the wonderful capabilities that these modern mobile devices have to offer to enrich the experience for the user. And finally, we're providing access to all the data, not just a taste of it. 
the application you saw, can analyze over 250 million rows of data. Many of our end users want a complete experience in a mobile format, and the latest mobile devices clearly make that possible. So I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. If you'd like to learn more, please visit my blog at www.robkerr.com. Uh, visit the Blue Granite website at www.blue-granite.com or follow me on Twitter at Rob Kerr BI.